Now from protest songs to plays and spitting image puppets, Margaret Thatcher has uh, long inspired the cultural community. Now a new exhibition in London featuring ten artists' depictions of the Iron Lady opens to the public the day after her funeral. They all have one thing in common, the artists grew up as Thatcher's children. Our arts correspondent Brenda Manis has been speaking to some of them. An impromptu image of Baroness Thatcher by street artist Paul Don Smith outside Gallery Different in central London. Inside, a new exhibition features a selection of works depicting the Iron Lady. In tying in with the number 10 theme, Thatcheristic features 10 artists showing their images of the former Prime Minister over 10 days. I was born when Margaret Thatcher was made Prime Minister and uh, I personally feel like she must have had a huge impact on my life and how the outcomes of my life and many uh, people that I know. So I, I felt personally inspired to react in an artistic uh, way. Some works, like these screen prints on steel by Paul Teckenberg, are decades old, while others produced days after the announcement of Baroness Thatcher's death. And it was made in pre-Photoshop days, so it was done as a scalpel and... Maggie Regina by artist Peter Kennard was featured in Time magazine and the original bought by the Tate for their permanent collection. Thatcher dominated the period she was Prime Minister so I had to make work. I did a lot of work about her, did a lot of work attacking her um, and trying to, trying to show visually what she was doing to the country. Some of the collection is celebratory in tone, while others, including a topless image of Margaret Thatcher, may offend. In art, as in life, she has divided opinion. There are a whole pool of people who literally have no idea who Margaret Thatcher is and she will be lost. And that's that whole generational transference for us, she's this important character. And for many people in our lifetime, she will continue to be this icon. I think she'll uh, absorb into uh, contemporary culture and emerge as like a sort of Che Guevara image that is printed on t-shirts that you'll see on street walls that have been stenciled by graffiti artists. And she'll pop up in all different kinds of um, visual situations, I imagine. Brenda Imanis, BBC London News.